Bringing the Rain to Capiti Plain Retold by Verna Ardema, pictures by Beatriz Vidal, and read by Mr. Alicea. This is the Great Capiti Plain, all fresh and green from the African rains. A sea of grass for the ground birds to nest in, and patches of shade for wild creatures to rest in with acacia trees for giraffes to browse on, and grass for the herdsmen to pasture their cows on. But one year, the rains were so very belated that all of the big wild creatures migrated. Then Kipat helped to end that terrible drought, and this story tells how it all came about. This is the cloud, all heavy with rain that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This is the grass, all brown and dead, that needed the rain from the cloud overhead, the big black cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. These are the cows, all hungry and dry, who mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass all brown and dead that needed the rain from the cloud overhead, the big black cloud, all heavy with rain that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This is Kipat, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like the big stork bird. Kipat, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass all brown and dead, that needed the rain from the cloud overhead, the big black cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This is the eagle who dropped a feather, a feather that helped to change the weather. It fell near Kipat, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like the big stork bird. Kipat, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass all brown and dead, that needed the rain from the cloud overhead, the big black cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This is the arrow Kipat put together with a slender stick and an eagle feather from the eagle who happened to drop a feather, a feather that helped to change the weather. It fell near Kipat, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like the big stork bird. Kipat, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass all brown and dead that needed the rain from the cloud overhead, the big black cloud, all heavy with rain that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This is the bow, so long and strong, and strung with a string, a leather thong, a bow for the arrow Kipat put together with a slender stick and an eagle feather. From the eagle who happened to drop a feather, a feather that helped to change the weather. It fell near Kipat, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like the big stork bird. Kipat, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass all brown and dead, that needed the rain from the cloud overhead, the big black cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This was the shot that pierced the cloud and loosed the rain with thunder loud. A shot from the bow so long and strong, and strung with a string, a leather thong, a bow for the arrow Kipat put together, with a slender stick and an eagle feather, from the eagle who happened to drop a feather, a feather that helped to change the weather. It fell near Kipat, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg, like the big stork bird. Kipat, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass all brown and dead, 
that needed the rain from the cloud overhead. The big black cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. So the grass grew green and the cattle fat, and Kipat got a wife and a little Kipat, who tends the cows now and shoots down the rain when black clouds shadow Kapiti Plain.